Hello everybody and welcome to a new series called House of Da Vinci. Now, um, we had just finished up the room four. We're also starting a new puzzle series where Kevin is playing and it's called Cube. So you guys can go check that out. Um, it should be uploaded before this comes into play. Um, I am streaming this and playing it. Kevin is going to be in here commenting and we're going to figure this game out together because it's both new to both of us. And if you want to see a puzzle game as interesting as this, you picked a good day to watch my video. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay. Kevin, what are your expectations for this game? None. None. You have no idea what's going I'm on? Thinking, I'm guessing a knockoff of the room. And I guess we'll find out for the rest of it. Because this was, this was an indie game, right? This wasn't anything big by any stretch of the imagination? I'm not entirely sure what company made this. No, it, it was Blue It was Blue Brains. Blue Brains, right, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, hey. My mind's open. Well, definitely the room vibes. Yeah, very room vibes. Do you want to read? All right. <laughs> Dear friend, I am sending this message to you through a trustworthy messenger, as events of recent days do not allow me to meet you personally. For a long time, I have been working on an extraordinary invention. It is so significant that it goes beyond everything I created before. On the one hand, the machine fills fills me with pride, but I'm also fearful lest the invention of... Oh, I'm also fearful lest the invention fall into... Okay, fall into the wrong hands. This is the reason why the entrances to my house are well secured. This is my plea to you. Gain entry to my library, where you will learn more. Gain entry to my library, where you will learn more. In the mailbox, you will find my new optical invention, which I have named the Ocula Infinitum. All right, so they even have a, like a little lens like they did in the room. Yeah, wow. it's right, the Oculi. I guess, <laughs> I guess not just a an inspired game. I guess this is possibly just a straight rip from it. I don't know. Uh, it could be good. Hey, no one right uses to... that word anymore. No one uses Oculi anymore. It's like a. I think it's the plural of Oculus. Yeah, Oculus Rift. Then no one uses Oculus. Yeah, Oculus Rift. Right? Other than that. <laughs> All right. I know you well, and I am convinced that you are very gifted. I am sure you will discover how to use it. Yeah, I'm thinking that this is... Um, and that's Leonardo da Vinci's... Um, that That is what he left behind on all of his artwork, by the way. Is that symbol? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. Yep. I can see the D for sure. can kind of see the L. It The L is like almost 3D laying down and the D is there. It's pretty cool mm -hmm. how he did that. Oh, yeah, it is 3D. Oh, I see. Yeah, that. isn't yep. that cool? Nice. That is cool. It was the first artist to come up with 3D. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Right click to zoom out. Thanks. Double click on the entrance door on the left. Yeah, when you use the Oculus Rift and then just changes the colors of everything, and it yeah. allows you to if it allows you to enter in like inside objects, that's too far. That's that's where I'll call a complete rip off the game. I gotta say, as long as they have like legit puzzles, I I wouldn't mind a a rip off of of the room. What? This is a weird key. Oh, okay, this way they tell you if it needs to be combined with something else. That's cool. So it eliminates some of the guesswork. Mm -hmm. That's a weird key. Jeez, if you have to do that unprompted. 
that can become a pain pretty quick. But um, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I don't want tough puzzles for the sake of being tough. They gotta be tough because they're clever. Make you think outside the box, you know. And this also does share another thing with the room where this is a uh, the tutorials built into the actual game. The Oculi thingy in in fin I can't pronounce Oculi that Infinitum. Word. Yeah. Mention is better. Where can I test it? Oh, oh, would you look no, at is... that? <laughs> All right, at least you can see through it. So this is like X-ray, where you can see the gears and the, and behind it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'll, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for, for now. Of course, as things develop, I may or may not retract that. Mm -hmm. Still, I don't mind having another room game, because who knows when they're gonna come out with a room five? We need, we need more puzzles, less like random clicking, hoping for the best. But we'll see what happens. What in the world? No, don't tell me there's like a supernatural presence like the void that we have to... <laughs> a supernatural presence. Like the null element? Oh, what Sorry, is that? The, the Mothman! The <laughs> Mothman knockoff. Badia... I don't know, Fioren. Yeah, I don't say. Yeah, Tana? I was like, I was reading this in my head, and then I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Badia Fiorentian, Fiorentina. The master's house. I know. The rubble from the blast must be even. The, some, in any case, yeah, yeah I don't want to like cool. keep comparing this to the room, but sometimes like when the parallels are just too strong, I can't, I can't not, you know. Yeah. Also, this game kind of feels old. But I don't know if it's older than the room. It, it could just be old vibes because we're back in the 1502. And the room was in like the 1910. Oh, no, I don't mean like the um, the old, like, you know, like the setting is old. I mean like the graphic style and, and the way it moves, the way it plays. Mm hmm. It's giving me vibes of like, uh, you know. I mean, this is 2017. This, oh, okay. Here's what it said. So definitely, if there's any similarities, it's definitely the. Uh... Also, I was I was exaggerating the 90s. It's mm -hmm. probably more like early 2000s, the kind of vibe I got just then in the hall. But so, anyway, uh, if if there's any similarities between this and the room, it would have to be this taken from them, or just a wild coincidence, which I don't believe. All you, man. All right. Now find yourself in a library that, with its solid walls, protects the wisdom gathered here for ch for centuries. I am beginning being pursued by dangerous people, and this is the only place where I am able to find peace and inspiration. This room also hides a passage for my workshop. Which is known for no one besides myself. In order to discover the way into the workshop, you will have to use your... Astute uh, mind. Okay. I don't know what that means. Somewhere in here, I've hidden another invention that will help you find oh your God. way further. That's an H? Jesus. What? What? <laughs> Just that it looks like I've bidden. I'm yeah, I, I, make, I was gonna make a Biden joke, but okay, <laughs> I've I've hidden. That's an H, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, go on. Never forget, the one fool that best allows people to understand the world is the accuracy, consistency, and precision of their observations. That's a pretty cool quote. What is an astute mind? Like a really well-trained, finely tuned mind. So, smart mind. But not really smart. Astute could be used for other things. But yeah. I 
No, no, it looks like something goes in there. That was just... Yeah. Uh, just like the room, though. I I will mentally tune out for all the points where it's just like, you know, randomly click around until you find the thing that you need to interact with. <laughs> Alright, let's find his workshop. All right, looks like this needs a key. Probably just need to remember that later. All right, yeah. I'm not reading that. No, I ain't either. That's too many <laughs> names. I'm sure, if you keep uh, flipping through the pages, it's probably just a bunch of names. It says Death Note. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, is there any context to this? Is there like a what's the name of this book? They didn't say anything. Oh wait, Jan Wilkin. Well, hold on. Uh, that one, Jan Wilkinson's in all caps. That is a big. Yeah, that looks important. And the next page, another one. Uh, look at the bottom of that page. G. Hunim? Hunim? I don't know. No the idea. Jiggler. The Jiggler. <laughs> Jessica, Darkwater Song, Hawthorne. Wow. I'm sure the capitalized ones are going to become at least somewhat important. Actually, no, I'm not sure of anything, but I'd be more... Oh, yeah, with that guy, Johnson yelling or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> That's also <laughs> those, half of his names in capitals. The other Jones, half, Jones Tam. Tam yeah, see, yeah, all right, never mind. Maybe it doesn't matter. How about no? none of these people are important? That's the answer. What's the What's the title on this book? So... There ain't no title. No, oh, Jesus. What is this? What the hell is this? Printing press. What? Maybe that's a. Uh, I got an achievement. Printing press. Maybe it's just a collectible. Nothing uh, story relevant. N through Z. Oh, great. Same thing, but more of them. I'd say let's not worry about it. Maybe the capitalized words will spell out something when you... We, we can cross that. No, let's burn that bridge when we get to it. Burn it, yep. A through G! <laughs> this one has a symbol up the top. That's how important it is. S at three. A dollar sign at three. Money at three. All right, sounds 3D. good. 3D. So we get paid at 3 o'clock. Okay. Sweet. No, no, no. It's just a... I'm noticing that there's numbers at the top of these things, too. 5, 6, 7. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a 2 over there. Hmm. 
I don't know what else to do here. This is just... Have you ever played Danganronpa? No. It's another kind of game where you just kind of click around, you have to investigate stuff. Uh, it's more cartoon-based than this. This is pretty uh, gritty. Uh -huh. But with that one, with that game, you could, like, push tab, and it would just it would light up all the things that are interactable. So, like, if you either gave up or you just don't feel like randomly clicking on things, they'll, like, tell you, okay, these are all the objects you can interact with. And to me, that's far better for a game, but of course there is also an appeal of having access to anything. That's interesting. Oh, this is one of those sliding puzzles. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. And they put the, yeah, you got it. Keep all the colors. I like these puzzles. I don't mind these ones whatsoever. Yeah, because it's like, it's it's straight, like, reasoning, you know? You that's give good. me a puzzle that's complex and has, like, no information whatsoever. I'm going to be staring or, or at it Or they, like, like expect minutes. you just to, like, know what to do with no yeah. reason to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What the... Here's the glove on the title. Presumably. Alright, so what does that glove do? There's definitely a door there. There's definitely Scan. something in this guy's head. Aha! I like these as an x-ray thing. That is a new interpretation. A wooden flower. Or whatever that is. A piece of wire. So we know the flower is incomplete as is. We need it to attach okay. something. So we shouldn't be finding places to place that, but the other wire we can use as is. I'm guessing to pick a lock or something. So check out the two locks we have on that little... I don't know where the fuck that thing is. I don't know what to call that thing. Kind of looks like a house. but The ornament. One at the very top, yeah. Try that. See if you can use the lockpick there. And then if not, try the bottom. Okay. 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 I think if you want to try combining it, you either click the plus sign. Like a, you see on the flower, like in that portrait of the flower. Yeah, and it brings up this, and then that's about it. Oh, oh, that's what happens. Okay, okay, all right. So what the hell is this? Thing? It's like a full-on flower. All right, so I can't take that wire piece back. All right. That's all right. I'd say if this were a real-life puzzle, we definitely should. But here, that just means that they the game is guaranteeing to you that it is not going to become relevant again. Can you look at that piece and, like, turn it around, like, in the room? Like, uh, so we can see what that new piece you just got? We can see, like, what that goes to, what that, like, inlet looks like? Okay, plus sign. There we go. Or an so X. Let's try and look for a... Yep. Uh, well... It also has another, so it's not just like a, a plus or an X. Uh, it seems like they have the center of it has a deeper inset, okay. but of like a Tetris, like a T symbol. Yes. So, we'll look for a T on top of an X, and that will. Uh, once we find a symbol like that, that'll tell us where it goes. Oh wait, maybe that's what they're talking about. The flowers on like the corner. See how one of them has that like. Diagonal Y or something. I don't know how to describe. Uh, look above oh. that. So the blue box above it. Yeah. 
Like those those flowers. Maybe they're talking about that. Oh, that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, right there. That's the plus symbol. Try that. You've got to be kidding me. I'm expecting that, like, we'd hold on to that for a while, and that'd come into play a bit later. I don't know why. No idea why I thought that, but wasn't expecting it to come into play right away. A brass screw. Sounds promising. Yeah, fuck it, right? Okay. You think so, but I guess not. Let's see what goes on the back of this. Okay. I'm guessing we'll define something with that pattern. Look like a coin that has like a. Yeah. I guess back to looking around again. Let's stick to this. Let's stick to this. Uh, this like. This thing over this here. This whole is this whole structure right here. Let's stick. See if we can find anything like this. Find any uh, as much as we can do here, and then we'll we'll venture away after we've got it. So for that blue box, the section that we just did, yeah, with the flower, is there a way to look on the sides of this thing, or is this just like stuck as is? No. Okay. Well, how about that? How about that coin right above the thing that you moved? Yeah. Um, I already moved to... that. Yeah, try putting this on top of that. It looks like it has I don't know, that hole in the center of it. No, okay. No. I should have thought of it, but no. Oh, wait. Never mind. What? What if you rotate it? What if you rotate the flower to like the back side of it and then try to combine? Does it matter like context what you're trying to do to it? It does. Wow. So it does matter. Okay. That's actually that's probably good. Wooden rose. I guess now we'll find some place that looks like a rose is missing, or has the inlet. Oh, try that. Yeah, yeah. And this in the front. Yeah, you, you got it. Okay, never mind. The shape's just slightly oh, off. There we oh, go. I had to zoom not. in on it. Oh boy. It has a circular hole, but the uh, the shaft of it was a square. Oh, cool! An actual puzzle. I guess, how do we unlock the next layer up? Oh, it just goes. Huh. I guess a maze more than a puzzle. Ah. Well, it makes it nice and clear where to go. <laughs> This way, yeah. All right, we clearly could just pull that straight out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, now some pieces are missing, so you can rearrange them, right? Try a slide. Yeah, nice. Okay, now that's that's a puzzle. I like that. Uh, keep going until you run to more resistance. Just see how far down you can go. Then you use your space as needed. Ooh. Being on a plus sign. All four. You can move that one freely. Hmm. That's the one you want to be. Uh, unless, alright, so move the flower onto that one. The next one, the plus one. And then see if you can move that plus one with the flower on it. If not, yeah, I, nope, I can't. I can't. All right, all right, so you can't relocate the piece it's on. That's fine. Uh, dra dra yeah, yeah. Easy enough, but I, I suspect this is this is a good idea that I expect next, next face of this will be good. Oh, you can just go down. I down can't. Right, you know? Cannot drag down. No, I mean don't drag down. Oh. Move the flower down. But I, I'm thinking they'll they'll really step it up for the next one, and now now I'm interested. This is like the kind of puzzle I kind of want oh, to solve. Oh, circular? Ooh, so you can rotate as well. 
oh man, I want one of these in like real life. <laughs> like a piece that's kind of stuck there, you can kind of like move it through and you have to solve a sliding puzzle while moving the piece. It's, it's great. That's not great though. No, that's not. Having to get the lining up, get perfectly fine. <laughs> You know what I feel like you should do? And I don't know if you should, but I'm just getting vibes to do this mm -hmm. just because what we're looking at. Have it at the angle that you just had it at. So you could go up and then to the right. But then go off to the right and then straight down. Where you can then <laughs> change we that one. Rotate this across, one and, and go and around in the and damn up. circle to get up here. I don't know why I'm getting vibes to do that, but that's <laughs> the first impression. Of course, it ends up no better than if you were just to change the circle, but you know. It feels more uh, self, you know, self-contained puzzle. All right, I'm gonna assume you can't rotate, though, when it's on there, so you can have to back this one up. So go around this little square that you have here. It's like, uh, yeah, down, then over and up, and then rotate that one. So yeah, then the rest you'll you'll get it. But yeah, that that's good. I want. I want a puzzle like that in real life. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff. <laughs> that's pretty cool, huh? They didn't do this in the room. That that's advanced thing. Oh, they had good Oh, another there, one. Oh, you can oh, arrange them and rotate. And oh slide. God! Here we go. Let's do it. Nope, can't. Okay. Oh, you can't slide them? No. Or can you only slide, slide this. the ones that can't be rotated? Right. Well, that's interesting. All right, so, yeah, definitely go down. And then you can slide the other piece in so I you can go into the middle. can't slide that one down. That sucks. You can't slide it down? No. Oh, they're on a rail. Yeah. So they can only move left and right. Okay. So that means when you go over here, you probably can't slide that other one up. Now you can rotate, but try uh, go back to the other one. Uh, just, just as an experiment, just so we can know the rules. Go back to the, the one you're at. Yeah, and then see if you can move that other one that just turned. Move that one up. If that's possible. Nope. Wow, okay. Okay. All right, well, it's that's stuck good to know. on a horizontal line. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's good to know for at least future puzzling. Nice. Yeah. I get it. That's cool. All right, uh, go up. You want to find a way to make that uh, this one that's right, right to your right. Have that one go straight down. Rotate it so it moves straight down, and then move the one above it so you can get there. And that'll fit. I was just thinking like, oh, that'd be a neat way to do it. And then they pulled. They came through. They came through. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see which one is. I'm glad we found another Kevin Good approved stuff. puzzle. I like the ones where the the rules are easily discernible, but the solution is not. That's my ideal puzzle. Kevin approved, right? Kevin approved. <laughs> Wondering what's in this. Oh, okay. So we need a piece that goes here. Good to know. I am 100% convinced that this key goes right here in the top. I am not 100% convinced. I am now 100% convinced. Oh, it's Portal! Ah, oh, this is 
This is reminding me of something else. Talus principle. Mm hmm. I guess we could try lighting everything up and just hope that's the solution. No. Okay, so there's something we're trying to do. Oh. Now everything's lit up. Cool. Talus principle, they did that in the room as well. It was just portal and portals. Oh, classic, classic book. A book with a leather cover. You know what I do like about that? If this is the last piece to find the workshop, say this is a real life thing. There is no sense in Leonardo da Vinci going through all those steps just to get to his workshop, right? Yeah. So, if it was just that was all you need to go through to get this information, and say you pull out this book and then do something real simple with it, and then bam, there's a workshop. That would be something he could do every time, but someone who's just discovering it for the first time, they'd have to go through all the steps to find out that there's something significant about this book. Your oh, turn. Okay. <laughs> and it's uh, titled Book with Lever Leather Cover. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I knew you could do it. The following lines are for your eyes only, which is why I hid them in this secret place. Our enemies pose more and more barriers to knowledge, wanting to know more than they are able to understand. You have proven... You have an open mind and deserve to see that which must remain invisible to the eyes of others. Uh, what is that? That thing just popped in. Hint? I guess it's yeah, a hint. Yeah, it's the hint. Yep. Okay. I leave you with my last invention. I named it the Oculi Tempest. Another another Oculus Rift. <laughs> if, uh, oh, it. It will allow you to look into the past, ooh, into the past and help your search for the secret passage to my workshop. Watch for the unusual. Uh, watch for the unusual. Perceive the extraordinary. Keep your mind awake and your eyes open. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I see a D first and then an L. So I, I gotta think D then L, but it's okay. I don't know the useful device in this letter. Master calls it the Oculus Tempest. I must see how it works. Wait. Actually, that seems like a decent place to, to pause for this. Right? Okay. Double click on the spots on the floor. Oh, the scene oh the my. Okay. Now it's the room. Shamelessly stolen. <laughs> That's all right. If they, if they can do it better, it isn't stolen, it's improved upon. If we close that, will help you move further. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Who just touches something there? Okay. So there we go. Okay, even better. Just the switch on the wall that you push. So that works. There's a dude up there that's gotta be Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. He's watching. Awesome. All right. Oh boy. Secret workshop. I had no idea it was possible to get here from the library. So far, yeah, you like did. There was a letter that said we had to get here. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I like it. You know, it's got it's the. Cool. It's got a. There's a reasonable. Like you can figure it is. There is a reasonable enough reason to have like you know some kind of a puzzle to get into the house and to figure out like where how to get into the the workshop like so. You know, if either no one's meant to find it, you still have your easy way to get through, but it's not going to be easy for anyone else. But there is also the possibility of someone who you've told that there is a possibility to figure it out. I don't know. I think that, that was well set up. I don't know if they'll play it as as organically for the rest of this. I can't imagine how they can, but I am, of course, keeping an open mind. But hey, optimistic now. That was yeah. pretty good.
It's got an eerie feeling to it, too. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will be continuing this series. Leave a like and a comment below, and I'll see you in the next. Bye. Bye.